What's up, everybody? Fravis here with another episode of what? Is, what? Whatever. What are you playing? Origins. Yeah, Origins. Um, just a quick little, quick, quicky, quicky dicky. We got a uh, a user who asked me, what, what? What? What is your name again? What? What? I have it. Oh, oh, how unprofessional! How unprofessional! I can't even really pronounce it. L V. Issy? L-V-I-S-E? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, didn't know exactly what I was running um, in my artifact deck, or at least I was playing my artifact deck when when this uh, when this uh, user? Viewer? Sub? I don't know. Uh, check me out. Anyway, so I, I want to let you know, uh, it's uh, Fiery Impulse, Perilous Mirror, uh, Sigil of Valor over Alchemist File. Yes, uh, I've explained it in a previous video, definitely. Telling Time, Great Cantrip. Disperse, awesome control. Remember this. Uh, this this picks up uh, planeswalkers, enchantments, auras. So like, if uh, you get a a hexproof creature with an aura on top of it, you can pop the aura and, and double block the hexproof. Maybe uh, twin bolt is great in this format. Chief of the Foundry should go in every one of these kinds of Thopter decks. Thopter engineer. Um, Whirler Rogue is uh, another reason why you shouldn't run Alchemist File in this in this uh, deck because if you need evasion, uh, you got it with uh, Whirler Rogue. Um, I mean, it it th th there's other reasons, but th that's one of the good ones. P and Karen are uh, okay. I don't use the ability uh, that often, but also remember that uh, Sigil of Valor is still an artifact and can and can get popped by that. Uh, Thopter Spy Network is just an obvious run because it just shits out, uh, tokens all day long. This, uh, Chandra's Ignition, you might disagree with me. I'm only running one copy of this, uh, aside from, you know, and a couple of lands here. Um, the reason I run this is, uh, mostly because of Sigil of Valor. Now, remember, when, when you swing in with, uh, an artifact, usually a Thopter token... This, uh, the, and, it, and it swings in alone, the equipped creature attacks and it gets plus one, plus one for each creature you control until end of turn. You see that? Right in the middle there, just to the right, it says it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. That means after your attack step, once you swing in with hopefully, I don't know, at least a 5-5, five five, uh, and you happen to have Chandra's Ignition, you can go ahead and pop that motherfucker. Uh, probably wipe your field, well, almost definitely wipe your field, but uh, you would use this as a win condition at the very, very uh, last turn. Um, you swing, you, you use this on the uh, creature that uh, got beefed up by Sigil of Valor, or hopefully you have a creature that has two Sigil of Valors on it. It's extremely situational, but I thought it was so funny that I might as well uh, stick it in there uh, on the off chance that that might happen anyway. Uh, so I have a, an even split of lands, as you can see in the bottom there, I have almost an even split of uh, uh, mana colors, and I, I'm not sure if I actually did a deck tech on this, I don't really usually want to do deck techs on, on, on my on my decks, because I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure it's worth it, because they change all the time, I mean, maybe I should, maybe I should go through and, and, uh, and, and just do, like, a quick, a quick looky-loo, a looky loo raw, if you will, of uh, all the cards that I'm I'm playing in that uh, particular episode. By the way, just one real quick uh, thing here: uh, Gear Perm made Gear Crafter, not running him. Uh, used to run him. Uh, you, you can still argue running him, but uh, he's uh, one in the ass. And he costs three mana, and he only shits out uh, a single one-one token. And guess what? I got that here. The same exact same mana, uh, two in a red. I get one guy, except this one gives all my artifacts haste, and it has three in the ass, so it's much harder to take out. You need a uh, spell mastery fiery impulse in order to take just a regular one of these out, and with this guy, you need like half of a twin bolt. So that's why I don't run him, and that's why I run her instead. Um, anyway, so I am going to be running Madlands in this episode. That was just a real, real quick uh, rundown because somebody asked uh, asked what I was running on a particular episode, and I promised I would I would show them in the next video. Uh, this is the one I'm going to be running today. It's going to be mostly uh, land poops. It because uh, you know it uh, poops poops lands. It it makes it makes lands happen. Um, and I and in red I have mostly removal. But but and what a but it is. Um, uh, I have a lot of land destruction here. In fact, I think I have all of it. Uh, I, 
almost want to get rid of a couple of things, and you're going to call me crazy for doing it. You're going to just call me crazy. Now, this goes in my hand. Ooh, a couple in my hand, one in the library. God damn it. Okay, this is what I'm thinking. I want, I want you to tell me what you're thinking. All right. So, normally, uh, a lot of people rely on bone splinters to pop a creature and kill a an opponent's creature. And since we run... Zendikar's Royal, we, we should have no shortage of creatures, right? We got a bunch of things just shitting out uh, lands and creatures all day long. I guess I can get rid of this into the wall of hell. Now, there's another spell that's a little bit better than that. Now, uh, just one real quick, real quick uh, looky look. It, it's a one mana cost sorcery. Now, I don't run black in this. I could, I could, but I don't. Um, now, I could splash black and, and change it up a little, but the other option is Fiery Conclusion, which essentially does the same thing. I still sacrifice a creature, and instead I deal 5 damage to target creature. And it's at instant speed. Instant speed. And it costs an extra, so it's it's twice the cost, but it does fit in my colors. It is essentially removal. This 5 damage takes care of a lot of shit, and at instant speed, hopefully uh, with a bunch of this shit, I have, I have plenty of... Uh, Cards that matter. I mean, if I do it to a, a, a perilous mirror, uh, shit, that's like seven damage, man. I mean, I mean, I mean, what else am I going to use these gate creeper vines for? Oh, I feel, I feel like that's that's a good keep. I like having the land destruction in here, but uh, whoops, no, not you. Uh, but I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and put that in right now, and we're gonna we're just gonna play test it. I mean, you only get three of them. I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot. I I I think it might work. I think it might work. Five damage is usually pretty relevant uh, for most creatures. Of course, I mean, I'm not going to get Zendikar's Royal out until turn five minimum. Ugh, God, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Well, whatever. We're going to give it a shot. And that's what we're going to run uh, today. Also, uh, another question that uh, my buddy, my buddy sub asked me. I'm sure you're watching, so I'm embarrassing myself by calling you that. I'm sorry. I'm embarrassing us both, honestly. Um, that you're kind of new to magic in general, you enjoy playing the video game, and you're asking me, uh, how to make your own decks. Man, that is a loaded question. There are a lot of ways to go about that, honestly. Um, I can't really, ooh, I can't really tell you, man. Um, I, honestly, uh, you, if you, if you're starting magic, um, whoop, okay, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I offended whoever wanted to play. Uh, if you're starting out Magic, you probably jumped into the right game. I think uh, Duel's Origins is exactly the right place to start. And playing this uh, is what many consider a simplified version of the game. Uh, it's not, well, I, I don't know. I don't really consider it a simplified version, but a lot of other people do. And they feel that it's, like, a good way to start. And I, I, I guess that's true. This is interesting. I, I don't like it. I have one creature. No, I don't. I have one. Oh, boy. If he's not aggro, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to take a risk. I'm going to take a risk. This isn't actually a keepable hand because I have... I mean, the soonest, the soonest play I have is a turn three, and it doesn't even sync with my Zenikar Royal. That's the whole reason this, this is Pilgrimage is in here. Uh, looks like I'm going up against Thopters. Not sure... Let's hope he doesn't have... I mean, I am on the play, at least. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, so, yeah. And, and the other thing you can do, other than, you know, starting to play this game... Yeah, we're definitely going up against Thopters. Is uh, watching YouTube videos. Not necessarily mine, because I'm terrible at this game, and you, you probably shouldn't learn from me. But uh, there are definitely plenty of other players that are much better, and will do a very good job... Uh, I mean, God, I don't know. I mean, I, I just want to say, get exposure. Like, expose yourself to good players. And good players, I guess, would be um, people like Hakeem. Uh, definitely Legend VD. Definitely. Uh, I have them linked in my... If, if you go on my homepage... Not my homepage. Like, my main... I can't deal with that, can I? Ooh, that's not good. I can't even out-aggro him. You think he's got removal for this? Let's see if he's a numb nuts and blocks this. I don't think, I don't think we can hope he, he's that stupid. 
Um, but yeah, I have I have uh, links to what I who I consider very good players. Um, I guess I'll I'll also if I include Hakim, I really should include uh, Mobius Chicken Strips, although. I do not recommend um, learning his attitude of the game. That is, I mean, he's definitely trying to go uh, the salty route. He's, he, I mean, remember, he's an entertainer, all right, and uh, he's he, he he represents sort of a, a negative attitude that that is very fun to watch, uh, very nasty to emulate, and I, I I don't suggest anybody do that. But he, um, you know, impartially, great player, so. Watch a bunch of those guys, uh, see what they do and why they do it, and when they, and also uh, read some comments because uh, every now and then people make misplays, and huh, he wasn't able to take care of that. He wasn't able to take care of that. All right, um, let's see if this actually goes through. I, I can't imagine he's got to have like a disperse or something, right? Right? No. All right, so he's actually taking more damage than I'm. Than I am. That's weird. Uh, I'm actually gonna go for the royal right now. God damn. I, I should have played the. Uh... See, that's a perfect example. I should have played the rogue's passage first, but I I, I didn't actually think that uh, my Zendikar incarnate was gonna come in. I mean, that's an extra damage I lost, but I really thought that he was gonna he was gonna bounce it with a disperse. I mean, he had two mana open. It, it would have just been the perfect perfect play, right? But obviously not. Um, okay. Well, that's... Actually, I'm fine with that. Shit. God damn. Uh, also, more damage would have been uh, Zenikar Incarnate, but uh, again, I'm actually worried about uh, removal. I mean, he's got a ton of cards in hand, and the only reason he doesn't have a bigger board state is because he's doing that really shitty uh, combo with uh, Alchemist Vial and and uh, that 4-3 Flyer artifact creature he's got, Esperzoa. Uh, and I call it shitty. It's not, like, actually shitty. Did he go block it? I can make him not block it, but actually I want to drop other shit. So let's do this pre-com. Uh, so I can get a land in play. Beef it up a little. Uh, I have three more land, which doesn't actually get me anything, so let's just swing all in. Uh, I would imagine that he does block this, actually. He, he's not blocking anything. Holy shit, what does he have? This guy's really tripping me up, man. This guy's tripping me up hard. I don't know what's going on. What is happening? I mean, next turn he's dead. He's dead. I, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm calling that that combo bad uh, only because it eats up two mana every turn. It, it's rough, you know. It's not. Yeah, you're you're gaining a, an extra card, but it's it's a card not without its costs, and it really slows down your tempo. I'm not worried about that. I mean, it's bottle and now he's tapped out. He's absolutely dead next turn. That's in, that's incredible. This guy. Uh... That, th I mean, that combo, that Esperzoa combo, that's what lost him the game. That's straight up lost him the game. Seven damage is not going to cut it, and now you're dead. Okay. I mean, GG, bro. I wish I could say GG, but I have no in-game chat, so... Sorry. Uh, I'm not actually going to lay that land, because uh, I like to win games elegantly, if you know what I mean. I like to uh, I like to go ahead and even even my players out. Oh, god damn it. I can't because he's gonna block with that fucking gnome. Alright, so I gotta swing with everything. Son of a bitch. Okay. I can't even him because if I swing in with that, sure, it'll hit him for seven, but then he'll just uh, sacrifice the gnome and gain three life. Alright, so he's got one, <laughs> which is exactly what... Uh, what that forest would have been if I had played it. Now this is exactly what I'm talking about. Do not, under any circumstances, uh, do what I do because I just lost the game for a very bad reason. Oh boy, I, I just want to I just want to deck out, but I'm not going to. I'm going to let him win because I I threw the game away because here I am thinking about other things 
eh, rather than paying attention to what the game is going on to be, and I'm just stupid. I'm just stupid, which is exactly the reason why you should not watch my channel to get better at this game. <laughs> you should watch this channel because hopefully it's entertaining on some level. Maybe maybe a more, um, I, I want to say baser level, a, a simpler one. By the way, who the fuck runs uh, one runs uh, bottle gnomes? Like honestly, is that is that that's the second deck I've seen that I, that is actually running that, which is really throwing me off. Honestly, I, I'm not I'm I'm all tripped up. I definitely lost that for myself. That game was mine to lose, and I decided to lose it. So, whose fault is that? Mine. Okay. Uh, GG for my opponent, obviously. Uh, I wish they could have played a little bit better, but they definitely did. Well, no, I, you know what? I think actually they didn't play any. They didn't make any misplays, did they? I think everything they did was uh, pretty damn good. I, I just, I just, it was my own stupid fault. I don't remember. I'm like thinking back. I don't remember anything that they did that was bad. I don't like that combo because I think honestly, it, if I had been paying attention, that would have lost them the game. The Esper Zoa game. Um... <laughs> uh... <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna do it. And I'll tell you why. Uh, Evolutionary Leap on Perilous Mirror. Uh, I really don't like seeing Chandra's Ignition in an opening hand. Because I'd rather have it something I can play right now. Something that's a little more relevant. I'd rather draw that later when I need it. But uh, this will be... Oh, I'm running two of these? Are you kidding me? Oh wait, no, I'm... I'm, I'm <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Of course I'm running two of these. Uh, I really wish I didn't... Uh, I really wish I didn't draw that. Okay, next turn. Uh, if he plays no creatures, I'm going to Nessus Pilgrimage. If he does play a creature, I'm going to play Evolutionary Leap. Uh, that is a creature. It's a foil creature. So it's going to be Leap. Choosing Leap here. Hmm. Actually, do I give a shit? Yeah, just as a response, in case he can kill it for some reason, or or if he wants to play another creature. He's going to swing in here before he puts down another creature. And he's going to do that uh, so I waste my Perilous Mirror blocking this 1-1. One -one. And then he'll save another creature that's uh, hopefully coming down. So no creature now. There will be an attack. There's no attack. Oh, because he doesn't have another creature. Holy shit. Okay, that sucks for him. Um, good. That's that's actually much better. Do I swing? I will swing. I'll be aggressive. If he doesn't want to be, then I will be. Um, but then if he blocks it... Ugh. God, no, he, he can block it. No, I'm not going to be that aggressive. It's only one damage. Only one damage, you guys. Not good enough. Not going to do it for me. I want him to put down another creature, honestly. I want to get two for the price of one, because if he puts another creature down that's either a 1-1 one, one or a 2-2, two, two, I can I can wipe his field, potentially? No, maybe, just maybe, maybe the more interesting one. Uh, playing the colors that uh, I honestly don't see together very often. Um, interesting. Very interesting. He's got some controlly colors, not, not so much the green. I guess green in this format is somewhat controlly, but he doesn't have any of this stuff. Uh, he is playing card draw, which tells me that he's definitely a control deck. Oh, that's nice to see, actually. Do I play this right now? Yeah. Leave green open, so I have uh, so I have Evo Leap open for myself. Next turn, I if uh, if Chandra's Ignition does not die, uh, I mean, sorry, if my creature doesn't die, I'm going to Chandra's Ignition my giant and then swing in. That seems like a good move. If he is a control player and he just tapped out, he does have five, so five can have... Alright, I'm gonna do it now. If he has the removal, he has the removal. Wow, what a, uh... What the hell's he got, man? That's... I'm, I'm a little... I'm a little flabbergasted. Oh. 
Oh, I see. Alright, good. Flash, flash creature, that's fine. Usually when you have a ton of uh, lands out and they got a bunch of cards, you really should be expecting something out of your opponent. For God's sake, something, please. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get killed again because now all of a sudden, you know, here I was uh, poo-pooing the Chandra's Ignition and it's uh, it's becoming way more relevant than I thought. Alright, his attack definitely means that he has another another creature coming my way for because he needs a blocker. He needs a bad, you guys. He needs a bad. That's a blocker. And with that mana, I don't think... I don't think he can stop this. Is there any three mana removal that can take care of a 6-6 six, six at instant speed? I don't think so. Before uh, before we beat this guy, I'd like to take... Uh, I'd like... Uh, how, do I, how do I get him? Uh, right button. Right, right button. Right button. I don't know how to get there. Um, looks like that's game, actually. I don't care if I lose uh, a card. Interesting. Sucks for him. I feel bad. He got completely wrecked. Yeah, I don't care. That's fine. He's probably gonna take off right now. Um, he didn't, didn't really have as much control as I thought he did, honestly. He didn't have a whole lot of anything, and I wouldn't consider my deck an aggro deck. <clears throat> well, GG. That should have been two wins in a row, but uh, that decided to be one win in a row because <laughs> you got, you know. I'm I'm not going to lie. You know why. Because Fravis is badass. I'm sorry. I am recording right now because my brother-in-law is not here, and I'm happy. Uh, I, I Like I said uh, in a previous episode or two, ooh, that's a cool avatar. I don't like the background, though. I like the avatar, but the background's boring. It's just, like, spiky rocks. It's like, I don't know. I want, a, I want a better background. I don't like my background. I like my avatar, but I don't like my background. So I'm really on the prowl for, like, duck win. What? Duck win? <laughs> cool. Um, I'm really on the prowl for a good background. This looks bad, but I'll keep it because... Fuck it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, probably Elvish Visionary before Perilous Mirror, uh, unless he's really aggro. Ooh, if he's if he if he's got another. Oh, he does have a play. It. Po oh no, he doesn't. Did he? I don't know. It, it skipped over his second main, but his first main paused just a little bit. I'm a little worried. Okay, so I'm just gonna play. Um, since he's got no creatures that I want to worry about or take care of, I'm not gonna play the Perilous Mirror. The Perilous Mirrorless. I'm just gonna just gonna put down my Elvish Visionary, see what I get. Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll draw into something that's a little more relevant. That's fine. Uh, like I said in the last game, um, I'm I'm or you know the same tactic as last game. I am gonna swing in, see if he uh, blocks. Um, that's all I'm gonna do. Swing a ding ding. Thanks for the wings. Speaking of wings, duck wing face. That is what he said, right? No, he is not. Dumb dumb players. Uh, I am, though, on the other hand. I am duck, dumb dumb players. I'm so many dumb dumb players. Um, so next turn looks like my Acid Moss is coming down. See, if I block this, if I block this gentleman, he'll wipe my board, and that'll make me very sad. Ooh, two of them. Two of them? That's not good. I don't like that. Um, okay. I'm going to offer him the trade. Should I? Yeah, I'm going to offer it to him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to offer a cleared board for both of us. To see if he wants. I don't think he'll take it. No, he doesn't. Alright. If he didn't want it really, he could have... He could have blocked my visionary and then shot the two to my face. But he didn't even want to do that. Which I'm okay with. 
if he's having land trouble, he's really fucked. <laughs> he's really, really fucked. And I feel kind of bad for him right now. Oh, do I feel bad for him. Oh, it's a bad. Oh, he's not going to have a good time. He's not going to have a good time. Oh, nope. I'm still swinging in, bro. Uh, the advantage is mine. We're on the same clock, but you're going slower than me, and you got no good lands. Uh, I'm going to take out his blue, because it looked like he was having a harder time getting blue. And he's had red for a little while, and that didn't seem very relevant for him. If he doesn't, he's probably just going to deck out right now. If, if that's on an island in his hand, I'm, I expect him to just leave. Yep, that's it. <laughs> yep, <laughs> Duckwing Face did not like it. Land destruction, probably one of the most boring ways of control uh, that you can face. Uh, I mean, because you're just sitting there. It's like, what, what am I supposed to do here, honestly? This is fucking stupid. Um, I'm a swing in with this. See what he do. See what he do. Hey, look, I'm talking to you. What do you want? How are you feeling? Oh no. I think I'm going to do one more game after this. I would do a Zendikar's Royal if I had lands, but I don't have lands. I don't even have land fetch. So I'm just going to do a Zendikar and a Perilous Mirror at the same time. Uh, I am playing against the AI. The AI, by the way, in case you did not know this, and I have no proof of this, but I have strong feelings of it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm actually going to go to the face with this. Going to go to the face. Because I think I got him. I think I got him dead. I think I got him dead. I have no proof of this, but the... Oh, wait. No, I got to think about this for a second, you guys. Uh, can't Chandra's ignition yet. Yep. That's right. And the only ones I'm going to be swinging with, uh, this guy and this guy. I can't swing with both my 1-1s. One um, because... Yep. Because if I do, he'll block them both and then swing or, or, or target my Zendikar with both of his mirror. And really pop that bastard up. So... He's at four now, which uh, means uh, Chandra's Ignition will, will do it for me. Oh no! Fiery Conclusion! Damn, I, I, I still wanna... I still wanna, Oh, I can't do the Chandra's Ignition. I don't have enough red. <laughs> Oopsies. Um, so does it matter? Does it matter? Does it matter? No. I'm just, I'm just gonna do it the boring way. I mean, it's a simple... It takes less thought. Just do this stupid-ass Rogue's Passage. I was, um, well, well, whatever, fine. I was um, on Facebook, and Facebook, uh, if you did not know, Magic Duels Origins has a Facebook page, and every now and then they throw out some sort of a thing where they're like, um, what the hell are they like? They're like, oh, you should play this card and these sorts of decks, and you should do this and that sort of, and, and usually their, their tactics are pretty... <laughs> pretty vanilla. I, I don't know how better to explain that. Um, so I chime in, I'm like, uh, and, and in this particular case, they were saying something like, um, uh, Chandra's Ignition is the best way to get through, to get your uh, big bombs through a bunch of uh, blockers. Liquor 34. Alright, I will lick her 34. Um, and... I chimed in, I was like, you know, you don't need just Chandra's Ignition. Fucking Rogue's Passage works too. I mean, I'm verbatim, that's not actually what I said, but it, it, within those lines. And somebody was like, um, Rogue's Passage sucks. They, they didn't say it in so many words. They were much more elegant about it. They, were, they weren't, you know, typical internet tier argument. It, they, they did say, you know, reasonable things, and they're right. They, Rogue's Passage is, is, is um, more situational, but Rogue's Passage plus Chandra's Outrage, or Chandra's Ignition, Man, that that works. That that's even better. I got way too many lands. <laughs> Holy crap! I got a lot of lands. I mean, I guess not too many since I'm running royal here, but we'll see where I, where we go. Um, yeah. So I mean, I didn't know if if you knew that uh, Duels Origins did actually have a Facebook group. Uh, not necessarily the best face group Facebook group. I'm not actually recommending 
that you go do their Facebook group. In fact, I would not recommend that you do that because it's not really like they drop anything. All, every now and then they'll they'll announce that they've um, that they've released a patch, and like the last patch I read that they did were like these useless fixes, like minor minor bug fixes, and there are like mountains of better fixes that they can do, but they they just don't give a shit. They, they don't give a shit, guys. They just. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you know what? Fuck you. The game works. What more do you want from us? <laughs> so, okay. Um, let's see. They're gonna have four mana soon. Oh boy. The problem with Zendikar Incarnate is that if I put it down, I won't have Evolutionary Leap up. And if they have any removal, uh, I won't get everything I want. On the other hand, all right. So this is risky because I'm tapped out right now. But this is more this is more aggressive play because next turn I can Rogue's Passage and um, drop a land uh, and no no excuse me drop a Rogue's Passage and then use it to swing in with a, a five four. If it's relevant. Uh, if it's not, I'd probably just drop the Zenicar Royal. I, in fact, I don't know if I just want to drop a Zenicar Royal. I probably would rather do that next turn, actually, so I can put a 2 2 in play at the same turn. Mmm, you guys. You guys. Since I have an Elvish Visionary and a Zenicar's Royal, I think uh, this, is, this is exactly what I'm going to do. A little more risky, a little more aggressive of a play. Um, but because he's only he's only in red-green, if he was black I'd be a little more worried. If he was white I'd definitely be more worried, because white has plenty of removal. But, um, I don't know, I feel somewhat safe. Somewhat. Oh, Rocks Marauders, nice. Nice, nice, super, super trample. Uh, that's going to be a 6-6, I don't think I'm going to stop that. But I'm a faster 6-6, six, six, unfortunately. Oh, actually, yeah, I can't stop that. Mm, and will I? Yes. Yes, I will. I will absolutely. And I have fucking... Uh, uh, he's gone. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Oh, man. I feel bad uh, just completely wiping the floor with uh, with certain people. Not certain people. People people with cool names like uh, Liquor. Liquor. Oh, and, a th and a rank 34, too. Gosh darn. Uh, can I win right now? No, I can't. Oh well. Still, good game. You know, I have not used Zendikar's Royal, and I haven't used that other, um... Uh... Fiery Impulse? Fiery Conclusion? What the For Fire Conclusion, right? Yeah, I think it was Fiery Conclusion. Uh, and that's like the whole reason I did this uh, fourth game, because I wanted uh, Fiery Conclusion in play. And it doesn't look like I want to get it this turn. Alright, that sucks. I'll, I'll do it next, uh... Next game. Next game is going to be on another episode, though. Because this is going to be textbook win for this deck. This is exactly what I do. Oh, no. Do you have another one? you have something else? If you have something else... Uh, okay. Wh why did I do that? Oh, my God. You, you tripped me up so hard, dude. I didn't even know what to do. I just sat there like a dungaree. Oh my god. Well, you know what then? He would have hit me with that anyway. Okay, that's what's going on. See, if I had swung, he would have hit me with the, uh... With the, uh... Twin Bolt. So I would have lost it anyway. So that, I'm not going to count that as a misplay. I'm just going to pretend like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Which is obviously a lie. Because I obviously don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. Do I have enough? I have, uh... What do I got? I got four, five, six, seven. Three, five, six, seven. I can't. I don't have enough. That's a poop. That's a big old dirty poop. No. Busting, uh... Busting that shit doesn't do anything for me. I'm gonna hang on to this Rogue's Passage because, uh... I want to keep it uh, in case I need the... Ooh, that's actually pretty good. That, that'll that be actually a game if he swings in. Uh, because if for some reason he... Oh, dude, don't, don't hit... Don't hit it. 
No, okay, good. <laughs> oh, wait, actually... No, I can't do it. Too late. I could have, uh... I could have Savage Leap, but I, I think I got this anyway. It's not It's not a big deal. Uh, plenty of misplays in this episode. Um, it's late, and, and man, let me tell you, when it gets late, I'm just terrible at these. Just confusing. Very confusing. Why? Why would you do that? Because now you're dead. You, you die now. You have no cards in hand. Alright. Mm, that'll be game. I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, hopefully I was uh, helpful to anybody, to somebody... Something, somehow, in some way. Goodbye.